and welcome back to the Girly Girl Bookworm. So today I have my August book haul for you. I know I promised this Tuesday, and if you don't follow my Instagram stories, I updated you on my Instagram story that Tuesday I dropped my phone and smashed the entire case by accident. I was like taking some stuff from like another classroom, and I was like trying to gather all my things, and it just like fell off the desk and boom. Just like fell just right, it fell right on its back and just smashed. Um, and then obviously the night before the first day of school, where do I have to go? I have to go to Apple. I had to wait like an hour and a half to even like get seen. And then after that, they had to like take it to fix it for like another hour and a half. And then we went to Barnes and Noble after that. So I didn't get home until like 10 o'clock and I was like, guess I'm not filming a book haul. So I did not film it to Wednesday. I did not film it Tuesday and then obviously I didn't film it Wednesday because... It was the first day of school. So today's Thursday, the second day of school, and I'm here with a book haul. So that's why I look kind of haggard because it's the second day of school and there's no tired, like, teacher tired on the first week of school. <laughs> I was asleep by 8.30 last night. So I'm exhausted. And all my makeup is, like, wiped off my face. It's unreal. So I have a big book haul for you. A lot of these books I know nothing about because Fiction Guild just went nuts this month and sent me a whole ton of books. Speaking of Fiction Guild, I have restarted my blog. I used to blog a while ago. Um, it was on a WordPress. Um, I think it's just like wordpress.com slash girly girl bookworm or something like that. I'll leave the link down below. Um, as of right now, I just went back and I just like reviewed all of my Fiction Guild books that I've read in the past like two years since I blogged last. So I did that and then I'm going to stay, I'm going to try to stay up to date. I'm like two or three blogs behind right now because I just haven't been reading and I haven't been doing anything. Um, like the book I'm currently reading, I've been reading for like a whole week. So <laughs> that just goes to show where I'm at right now. But yeah, let's get started on the book haul. Um, I'm going through a new trend where I'm not on a book buying ban per se, but I'm only allowed to buy books that I'm excited for. I can't buy books because they're cheap. I can't buy books because they have a really awesome sale and they're cheap and I want them. Like, I need to be excited for them. There has to be a story behind them. There has to be something about why I'm buying these books. And I'm hoping that'll help slow me down. Um, so this month I had two pre-orders. Um, three, I don't know, I had like three or four. So I'm just going to get started. I'm going to go in a random order, that's for sure. And the first book that I have to show you is The Towering Sky by Catherine McGee. I got this book for a pre as a pre-order. Um, this is the third, and I don't know, I think it might be the final book in the Thousandth Floor series. I love that series. The minute I finished The Dazzling Heights, I pre-ordered this instantly, and I can't wait to get to this. It's chunky, so I don't know. I'm really excited for, like, a nice fall day because I feel like that's when I like to read these, like, a nice fall day or a nice wintry day. Like, just devour it. So I cannot wait to get to this one. That night when I was in Amazon, not Amazon, I was in Barnes & Noble, um, they are having that, like, big, like, blowout haul of 50% off. Um, so I was actually there to buy children's books because I was getting some back-to-school book, like, picture books for my students. And I picked up two books from that sale. The first book I picked up was The Trials of Apollo, book three, The Burning Maze. I'm not at this book yet, but for 50% off I did. I know I said I'm not going to buy things that are on, just because they're on sale, but I obviously have the whole rest of the series, so I needed to get this eventually. So I was like, while I can get this beautiful hardcover for $10, I'm going to do it. So I did. I also got... Um, when We Found Home by Susan Mallory. I've been kind of avoiding buying this book. This is one of her newest novels um, because all of her other books I own in paperback, but I decided to just pick this up as a 50% off hardcover because this cover is also pretty stunning. So I grabbed this one. This one just came out, I want to say, like a month or two ago. So I'm really excited to have this one. Another pre-order that I bought this month, it's a book that's already been out, but I got the movie tie-in edition, which is just got released today, so it just came in the mail, and it is A Simple Favor by Darcy Bell. 
this is the new movie with um, Anna Kendrick and Blake Lively in it, and I had no idea this was a book. I was like, I wish that movie was a book because it looks like such an interesting book, and then I won't be, like, scared going to see the movie. And then I looked it up, and it was a book, so I'm really, really excited to get to this. I'm hoping that I can get to it. And we can see the movie. We just bought this thing where, like, you have, like, you spend $20 for a month and you can see up to three movies a week for 20 bucks a month. So, like, that's pretty awesome. So we like to, we want to try to take advantage of it. So I want to read this before it disappears from theaters. Um, we were up in our old home, our old town that we lived in before we came here. They have an Ollie's. And I was like, we need to stop there because we don't have an Ollie's anywhere else near us. And I wanted to check out their book section. Patrick was like, no. And I was like, yes, please. He's like, remember your little band thing? And I was like, don't worry. I will only buy things that I'm excited for. And I found this book for $5. And you got to tell me, you would get excited if you saw this for $5 too. And I got the Big Greek Heroes um, book by Rick Warren. And for $5, we have this in paperback from... Um, Ireland when we went to Ireland but I was like come on you can't not have this beautiful book for five dollars especially because I think the lightning thief is coming out as an illustrated edition so I was like this is gonna be fantastic so I picked this one up fiction guild like I said was so good to me this month they sent me let's see seven books so, they were really good to me. I don't know what, like, any of these are about, so bear with me. They sent me The Solace of Water by Elizabeth Byler Younts. It says, in a time of grief and heartache, an unlikely, unlikely friendship provides strength and solace. This sounds like it could be good. Rachel Hawk quoted it. Okay, hands down, I'm keeping this, and I'm reading this, because I love Rachel Hawk. And they also sent me The Love Letter. By Rachel Hawk, which I pre-ordered months ago and got it. So this is my second copy. So once I finally get to read the love letter, I will do a giveaway for this book. They also sent me What Blooms from Dust by James Market. No clue what this is about. It says, the closer he got, the brighter that red became. It was a rose, a rose that had no earthly business growing there, right in the middle of all of that dust. I saw somebody say that they were pleasantly surprised by this book, that they went into this book thinking that they weren't going to like it, and they did. So I'm really intrigued to see if I like it, if I'll even try to read it. <laughs> I will probably have to read the synopsis and take a closer look at the synopsis. But the cover is really gorgeous, so I kind of want to like it just because of this cover. They also sent me The Orphan's Wish by Melanie Dickerson. I she They sent me another book by her. It's in the other room. It's like the Goose Girl retelling, but I've never read Goose Girl, so I don't think I would like it in the sense that I don't know the Goose Girl story. But this is a retelling of Aladdin, and I've seen a lot of good reviews for this. And you know me, I love Disney, so I love fairy tales, so I'm intrigued by this one a lot. Hi, Dana. What's up? <laughs> they also sent me Fox by Nadine Brandis Brands. Um, I think there's some history in here. There's some magic. I've seen even non-Christian fiction readers calling this. Um, it says Thomas Fox is turning to stone, and the only cure to the stone plague is to join his father's plot to assassinate the King of England. Okay, that sounds intense and amazing. Might have to check this one out. They've sent me some really good books. I'm really intrigued. I love how I say that in this next book I'm not ever going to read. And that is The House um, at Saltwater Point. And this is a Lavender Tides novel by Colleen Coble. They've sent me many a books by Colleen Coble that I have not read. Well, no, that I have read and have not liked. So if you're interested, I could potentially send this to someone. I don't know. I'm really not into her. Um, I just find her books to be dull, and I'm not intrigued at all, and I think it might be, like, a second book or a third book in a series, so I'm not, not interested. The last book they sent me was Sons of a Blackbird Mountain by Joanne Bischoff, um, and it's the award-winning author of The Lady and the Lionheart, which I have not heard. This looks really pretty, though. It says, A Tale of Family Brotherhood and the Healing and Power of Love. So, 
this could be interesting. This looks like it could be a bit of a historical, a historical fiction, possibly. Hmm. Not one hundred percent positive, but obviously, if I read it, I will look more into it. But they sent me that. Um, I finally got my copy of Legacy by Candy Steiner. So this is it came with this lovely bookmark and a like postcard, and this book was signed because I bought it through her website, and it says, Nicole, give them something to talk about by Candy Steiner. So, I'm really excited. I've obviously already read this. I've already reviewed this for you guys, but definitely, definitely a really amazing romance. They did get a cover change, which I'm kind of annoyed with, but I'll suck it up for this series. This is the Pond South University series. I love this series. If you like college, angsty, romance, drama, everything, college, sorority life, fraternity life, get this book. And well, not this book. Start with the first book and then work your way over here because this is amazing. I cannot wait for her to publish the next book, which I think comes out next spring. So cannot wait. Then I pre-ordered a book from Book Depository and this book took forever to get to me and that is The Secrets at the Beach House by Diane Chamberlain. This book was recently published, was it used to be published as Private Relations, but they have since republished it, gave it a new cover, gave it a new epilogue. I'm so excited. I don't own this. I never owned the other one either, so I'm really, really excited to have another Diane Chamberlain on my shelf. I kind of wanted to read this before the summer is over, but I don't know if that's going to happen. It's going to have to be right in the month of September, but... Fall doesn't start till September 22nd, so, or 23rd, so I still have summertime, right? <laughs> then I pre uh, I pre-ordered two of the, uh, no, I did mm, maybe they're considered, pre I don't know, they might not be pre considered pre-orders, I think one was definitely a pre-order, one was definitely a book that I did not anticipate ever, ever, ever buying, um, these were all from Amazon, and they were in, like, the same shipment. I got The Cheerleaders by um, Kara Thomas. I had been wanting to this book for so long. I've been eyeing it since way before it came out, and then I don't remember if I ended up pre-ordering or if I just ordered it, like, right when it came out. Um, it sounds like there's a bunch of cheerleaders, and I believe they all die, die or something. It says there are no more cheerleaders in the town of Sunnybrook. So there's a car accident, and then there's some more murders going on, and they're trying to find out who was killing these cheerleaders. <sighs> that sounds fantastic. Then I also, this one definitely was pre-ordered, and this is Hashtag Murder Trending by Gretchen McNeil. She wrote 10, which I love, and the Get Dirty duology, which I love. Um, I've read two other books, though, that I didn't really love. It was, they were more of her paranormal side of things, so Possession in 359 or 349 or something like that. But this one is also another, like, murder mystery thriller, so I'm really, really excited to get to this. And, oh, I didn't realize, like, they like this one's got a tiara, baseball hat, buttons, a bow tie, a popsicle. I'm excited. I haven't heard really great reviews for this, but I know her other books are kind of underrated, too, so I think I might still love it anyways. Probably going to save this for October. I've got a lot of October reads, for sure. Then I ordered Bear Town by Frederick Bachman. I really, really did not like my grandmother told me to tell you she's sorry. I did not like it. It was definitely a, too much magical realism for me. I was not a big fan of it. And I said I would never, ever, 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 ever read a book by him again. Lala just read this in one of her, in the book Tubathon, or yeah, I think it was the book Tubathon. It was, she was supposed to wear a hat with it. And she showed the first page, and I was hooked instantly. It says, Late one evening toward the end of March, a teenager picked up a double-barreled shotgun, walked into the forest, put the gun to someone else's forehead, and pulled the trigger. This is the story of how we got there. And I went, what? I need that. So I immediately was like, I need to buy this. The first time I see it, I need to buy it. And I just ordered it on Amazon and grabbed it. So I looked it up. There's no, as far as I know, magical realism in this book so I feel like 
I should like this one so much more. So I'm really, really excited to get to this book. And the last book that I have for you is my book of the month book. And I only picked one book this month. And I picked The Dinner List by Rebecca Cyril. Cyril. Um, I believe this is like one of those things where you always say like, who are the five people that you would have dinner with dead, living, or dead or alive or something like that. And this one is like this woman walks into this dinner and there's people that she knows and Audrey Hepburn is there. So a little bit of magical realism. I'm intrigued. It's really short. So I feel like I could fly through this once I finally get to it. And it sounds pretty interesting. Um, book of the month comes out with its new book choices on Saturday. So I'm intrigued to see what there is. Um, but that was the only one that I was like kind of interested in this past month. So I'm hoping for a better month this month. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed these books. I'm sorry my hair has been like a disaster this whole video. All day my hair has been like hot mess express. Look at this. This is nuts. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys find something that you might want to read at some point. And let me know your thoughts about any of these books down below. And I will see you guys hopefully soon. I've only read one book since my last five reads video. So might be a while. But I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys really soon. Bye everybody.